Hey everyone, Coach Diane here. And Coach Jeff from TeamPRSFit.com. Today is our ninth day of training. It is May... 17th. 17th, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here from Purest Fit, and today we had a bike on tap. That's right, Diane had me scheduled to do an hour and 20 um, um, base building bike ride today. Um, however, it was a little chilly. It was chilly, and I wanted him to keep his heart rate down, so actually I came along with him. <laughs> yeah, Diane rode along with me um, to kind of keep me in check because I have a tendency to want to hammer a little bit when I get out on the bike. And, and so I relaxed a little bit. It was a little chilly, and with the lingering effects of the cold still, um, I cut the bike ride down to about an hour. Yeah, and especially with all the hills that we have out here, I mean, pretty much you can't help but do hills. And so that was another reason for me to go, because I knew he wasn't going to leave me way off in this dust. <laughs> yeah, um, all in all, it was a good bike ride. Um, you know, my legs feel good. Um, physically, I feel pretty good. It's just my head that's still a little bit congested. And because it was a little chilly, I didn't want to work up a lather, so to speak, and then, you know, ride and, and cool off and, and, and maybe... Um, re-aggravate the head cold. But we are very, very excited because with the new nutrition that we're doing, I mean, we've always been paleo, but we've really been trying to focus well on it. And um, just a little note, when you start doing paleo for athletes, you are going to feel a little bit different. Um, you might feel not quite as much energy. You just might not feel exactly the same, but if you give yourself the adjustment time, you actually feel fantastic. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, I went back to the, you know, I went back and what we call the 95% rule, where, right. you know, I'm, I'm pretty much 95% doing paleo for athletes again. Um, you know, first week, obviously, because I'm getting all my carbohydrates from fruits and vegetables um, and natural sources, um, the system makes an adjustment, energy levels were down just a little bit, but you know, this week, um, I'm, I'm feeling great. I mean, you know, nutritionally, energy wise, um, you know, my digestive system has already made the changes and I, and I feel really, really good. Uh, and I should tell you that if you want to follow the, you know, follow along with my nutrition plan, uh, you can just send us an email at prsfit at gmail.com and I'll send you um, a link to my daily burn. And, you know, in, in all honesty, I'm being very, very, very diligent about it and very, very honest about it. You know, yesterday I had some dark chocolate um, because uh, I wanted some. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, that's the bottom line, but I'm putting it all in there. You know, I'm really keeping a close track so you can follow along just what's going on with me and how, and how I'm keeping myself fueled. You know, I and, think that's a, that's a key word is fueled. Yeah, exactly. And one thing that I wanted to mention is um, when I got bronchitis two weeks ago, um, I wasn't living um, paleo like we are now. Yeah. And I got very, very sick. And um, Coach Jeff actually started paleo before I did. And he only ended up getting the head cold. He never ended up getting bronchitis. So, you know, whether that had an effect on it or not, or whether your immune system is just different or not, I don't know. But, you know, that is one thing to note, that with a cleaner diet, you actually, even though you got sick, seem to stay healthier than I did. Yeah, and, and you know, a little bit, you know, that kind of could lead us to today's tip. You know, one of the things is when you when you get done with that workout, you know, any kind of workout, that's the time to refuel. Right. And again, the word is fuel. You know, we we eat when we eat for fuel, we eat better because we're looking at what's driving our body, exactly. um, what's making us feel better. You can start to see how there are performance changes up and down when you're you're making notations on what you're using for fuel in your system. Um, and you know, Diane made the comment as soon as we came in today. She says, "Okay, let's get some protein." Um, balance in our system back here to that ride and that's yeah. exactly what we did um, you know we we like the hammer whey protein because it's a little bit lighter and digests a little bit better and you know so we had a little bit of that with some fruit um, and some and water and you know blended it up so again you know looking at few food for fuel and not diet um, is a much healthier way to approach your nutrition program yeah one other thing that I wanted to touch on really quick is um, when you get back from your workout, make sure that you change out of those wet, sweaty clothes and get showered and get into something dry. Um, that can also be beneficial for helping you recover, for helping you alleviate any, you know, not getting sick or anything like that. Yeah, that's a smart tip. So that's pretty much it from here. Yeah. Um, if you need to send us an email and ask any questions that you like, it's prsfit at gmail.com. 
Our website is www.prsfit.com. And as always, be healthy. Train smart. And have fun. See you tomorrow, guys.